Hello, James George, and this is Creative Beacon, and today I'm going to talk about the Content Aware Move tool. And uh, I'm going to show you what it can do. Uh, it's kind of interesting, sort of takes on the uh, Content Aware fill and sort of expands on it to give you a couple more features. Uh, so let's get started. Let's say you've got this image of uh, trees in the middle of snow. And let's just say that you wanted to make an image with uh, text on the right hand side and have the trees on the left. Well, they're in the way. And the uh, concept behind the Content Aware Move tool is to be able to move something and still make it uh, look like it's part of the image. And so this is found under the uh, spot healing brush and healing brush patch tool, all that stuff. And there's the content aware tool. And so um, what you can do is uh, basically it works just like any other uh, selection tool. And you just draw your selection. roughly around what you want to move and so you'll get the marching ants and you have this option here that says mode move or extend so we'll use move first and if you just mo use just move it over it's supposed to remove it from the background and make it blend in with the background on this side. And this works really good with foliage and trees and things like that, especially if you've got a really green, lush image. It Photoshop sort of works its magic and blends everything in, which is really interesting. And so you can see here what it's done is uh, the, the trees in the background are completely gone, and then you've moved them over on this side and here you can uh, fill it with text or whatever uh, you'll notice that you have a little bit of gray behind here because that's what was over here and so you can use your brush and sort of blend it away or fade it out or whatever but you know the concept is it's supposed to uh, help save a, a ton of time when you're working with intricate items and so I'll hit command Z and we'll go back a couple of steps here and we'll change move to extend and so what happens is this sort of takes what what you have here and extends it and sort of tries to blend it all in and so I don't know how this is going to turn out but um, you know, it, it just depends, really. You can see what it did was it tried to blend it in with the tree and everything here. And it did an okay job. Like, it's got some gray in the back. You might be able to use levels and sort of even everything out to where... But this is supposed to be like a foggy, snowy, kind of blizzardy scene anyway. But you can see the potential behind Content Aware Move and Extend. Uh, I'll flip over to this image and let's say that you are uh, you want to extend this image let's say that this isn't long enough for you and you want it to extend out further now this image isn't going to work but I chose this for a reason I wanted to show you what Photoshop will do with this and what it won't do. And that's this is a great image because it shows you at the same time. Photoshop is good and content aware move and fill and all these things are good, but they're not that good. And I'll show you I'll show you what I mean. So I took the marquee tool and drew a selection around the edge here. And I'm going to use extend. We won't even use move because what you know, I don't want to move any of this. I just want to extend it. And so, uh, you've made the selection and you want to extend this throughout the rest of the 
uh, the photograph. And so like this is good for uh, extending an image that isn't wide enough and you want to make it fit a format or something. And so I'll let go of the mouse and let this work its magic. And you can see um, what it's capable of and what it just can't handle. Give it just a second. Uh, it may take longer on your computer because this is really RAM intensive. I have 16 gigs of RAM in my MacBook Pro, so um, that's why it uh, didn't take as long. Yours may take uh, a couple of minutes to process. It just depends on how much RAM you have. And so you'll see that it used content aware and sort of filled in all this information. Now, the the water actually is blended in pretty good. Like if you look through here, this is where it begins to break up is it doesn't know what to do with this part because these don't really line up and this doesn't it doesn't know how to fill in the information. So this is broken. But uh, the rocks in front in the foreground actually uh, have been put together a lot better. And so you can see that it will fill in this kind of texture, and it's it's great for this kind of stuff. But anything intricate like these rails and the the, the uh, diagonal beams and all that stuff, it just doesn't know unless you match it up um, near uh, perfection. It's really just not going to work. And so, for example, let's if I tried to. overlay this somehow and extend it out further, it's really not going to know what to do. It's probably going to just go haywire here and create just a mess. And you can see like it tried it tried to do this and it would have been okay but right here where it tries to make it, make the connection it it just goes awry and it doesn't look good. And so I would stay away from trying to make it do intricate little patterns and things like this because it's really noticeable. But stuff like foliage and rocks, leaves, trees, all that kind of stuff, uh, really textured items in the background or in the foreground, uh, just real textured items, it can replicate and calculate and create something that, that looks, you know, semi-realistic. But anything intricate, it's not going to be able to handle. Well, that's it for this week. Uh, try. I urge you to try the Content Aware Move tool and see uh, how it works for you. You can actually get some pretty amazing results with the right image. I'm James George, and this is Creative Beacon.